Hello, people. Today I have with us the option set 11. This is the option backpack number one. I know I did the second one first. Thing is, I only had the second one uh, at the time. So now I have the first one. I wanted to give you guys a review on it. Um, this one I think is a little bit spicier, a little bit better than the previous. And this one is designed specifically for the Alto. Uh, but of course it is a 30 minute missions kit, so you can plug it into anything with those three millimeter ports. Uh, again, I forgot where I put my backpack for this one. So I am borrowing the one from the cyber effect wing set. Um, as you see here, lots more ports than you'd normally have, I think. Uh, so we have these really nice thrusters that are on C-clip joints. So you can put them anywhere that uses a C-clip. Some really nice joint parts for that C-clip as well. I'm going to assume that we're going to use those a lot. Those are pretty nice. So I'm going to show you those guys in just a second. Uh, the wings are really nice as well. You can see they're very long and very um, tall for his size. And those are on uh, just a three millimeter peg. So you can put them directly on your Alto or anything with three millimeter pegs as well. And they have those little thruster bells as well. So you are going to be able to uh, add some oomph to your 30 minute missions kit, your frame arms kit, your frame arms girl or 30 minute sister. Before I move on to other model kits and what that might look like on them, I wanted to show you guys, these are the three millimeter pegs that you have on this here. So if you wanted to plug them onto the side of your uh, 30 minute missions kit, you can add some thrust to his legs, for example, onto his hips if you take that armor off or even on his arm if you wanted to do so. Uh, so there are a lot of options for that one there. And they also plug in like so. So if you wanted to put that on the back of a unit, it would probably be smarter. Uh, something like this, you know, just a direct thrust module, no vectoring needed. Uh, so you can uh, have something like a, a wing right on the back there too. Uh, just like how we had it before, but on this uh, set. There's also this joint, which I do really appreciate. So you got the clip over here and you have two options for the three millimeter peg. So you can do it straight on or you can do it on the offset, which is how it was on the, uh, the instructions. So you plug that in there and then you can plug anything that has that three millimeter clip on uh, just like so, or you can use it this way and you can do something like uh, one of these here, which will fit in there if I can. Uh, okay, maybe not, maybe it's a little too wide, but I thought that would work. Uh, but that was the idea for me was the large boosters from the propellant set. Um, so obviously that won't work. But we will be able to figure out some other options for this one. I guess it's a little bit wider than um, the norm. Still, that works pretty well with this unit, which uh, has the nice uh, clip right there in the middle. And then it has two three millimeter ports here. So you can also put the wings on the side of that if you wanted to do something like that. This is how you, again, op, uh, the instructions tell you to do it, but you can put that in however you'd like. And then there are uh, larger thrusters here. I think they would look better on um, this way, but this is how they give you the instructions. So let's go ahead and put it on some other model kits and we'll see what that looks like. All right, the Gundam base Gundam here with uh, the thrusters and the um, wings right here on the thrusters themselves plugged onto his backpack. I think that looks rather good from the straight on profile. Uh, gives it a more um, sleek look, even though all it is is adding to it. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. We have a high thrust variant of our Jinrai. So I think with these thrusters, you can pivot them forward and have him motioning toward the enemy a lot faster than you might normally have him going. So if you tilt these forward here, I think uh, that would have a good look and just get him towards his enemy a little bit faster. And here is Architect with the same setup as on the Jinrei with the uh, wings on the feet and with the wings on the legs and the thrusters at the shoulder.
It never ceases to amaze me how versatile Nero is. Even with these larger wings, I think he looks fantastic with them on. Uh, that I love... I love the idea of this guy being an aerial unit, so I think I might have to make a permanent conversion when I get another one. And I guess that is it for the compatible things that I have with this. And of course, you do have 30 minute sisters that you can work with as well, but I'm not going to pull them out of their boxes right now. Uh, for now, that is going to be all. Um, with these, I think these are a little bit better than the uh, previous one that I uh, reviewed, the Option Backpack 2. Uh, they also come with hands, just like the first one did. Uh, they are the same expressive hands that you got in the other set, so you can use those on your Alto or Porta Nova. They'll work just fine. I um, think you get a little bit more substance in this set than you did in the other, so this one is my preference, personally. The idea of a backpack that you know it's like a personal thruster unit was pretty cool but i do like the wings i think the bulkiness of these ones looks good as well uh but i'm not here to poo poo any other set because that one was rather nice i just think this one happens to be a better deal uh, more substance for your dollar here with that said though i'm going to let you guys go uh, have a great day. Uh, it was Easter when I was recording this, so happy Easter. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time, or you'll see me, but more than likely, you'll see my stuff. Bye-bye.